and we're live. Many Saints of Newark came out in theaters today. Uh, the the Sopranos prequel film, starring uh, James Gandolfini's uh, son. That came out. Yes, came out today. Uh, it will be on HBO Max in eight days, October the first. You'll be able to watch it on HBO Max and stream it, which is what I'm going to do. That's not bad. I actually, I, I guess I'll just wait till Colorado. It's one more day. Oh, there's one more thing. I think Dune came out, but mm -hmm. overseas. Mm -hmm. Thirty six mil opening weekend, I think. Did it or release maybe anywhere in English? I wonder. Don't know. Because like, if it is out anywhere in English, there's probably good copies to see on the internet somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> so uh, I could watch it. You could. Well, that would be illegal. <laughs> yeah, I would never do it. Or you could um, support cinema. <laughs> well, if no one else, it's going to take the sunny episode. If no one else is going to do it, you know. Yeah, I think uh, if Dune is out when I'm on vacation, maybe that'll be a little theater trip. I haven't been to a theater in a little bit, and uh, it'd be fun to stumble into a theater and watch it, because I think that's a movie that definitely is going to be much better in a theater. Mm -hmm. um, the, those mm -hmm. big, wide landscapes and impressive CGI and really interesting cast of characters, and I love the Dune stuff anyway. I even like the original movie that was just a real stinker that nobody else likes. Did you read the book? The book is dense. And there, it's books. It's thirty thousand years of history, dude. It's it's like Warhammer forty k, but it, 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 but but not quite as long. It's it's dense. Well, I mean, if you like the world, it'd probably be pretty cool to read. Like, it's uh, I guarantee it's a lot more in depth. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm hoping for a good movie. I'm hoping for a good movie. Um, can uh, can you rent out theaters? Yeah, and be like, bucks. but can you say like, I want you to play this movie? They have a and, list of movies to choose from. Um, new really releases. Cool. New releases are a little more expensive, but if you want to watch Jurassic Park or Jaws or like like you know a mm -hmm. classic like that, it's like a hundred bucks, and you could bring wow. as many people as you want. I think um, so. Like um, you know, you could go on a date, and uh, it's one thing I've been considering doing is just like taking a date to like Regal, plopping down a hundred dollars, watching Jurassic mm -hmm. Park or Jaws or you know I, there just haven't been any good new releases, and I'd I'd. I watched Jurassic Park originally in uh, in theaters when it came out in 93, I think, somewhere in there. 93, mm -hmm. 94, 95. Thought it was 93. But um it was a fucking experience. I talked about this on stream the other day. How like people don't realize what a big deal Jurassic Park when it was when it came out. It was massive. Like they had pyramids of Jurassic Park VHSs at my grocery store. They didn't sell movies at the grocery store, but they <laughs> were like, Jurassic Park's coming out. Get get three hundred copies of Jurassic Park. Fucking, you put them on a table over there. People will buy them at the checkout counter. Are you sure? Yeah, and they did. Like I just remember, like, mom, Jurassic Park's out, and even my mom was just like, "Really? Well, <laughs> go get one." <laughs> you know, like, like like everybody wanted that shit. It was such a big deal. Like mm -hmm. we'd never seen dinosaurs like that before. They looked real, especially it back then. It was amazing. There was a big argument over whether dinosaurs really ate people at the time. Like that was part of the national conversation. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Given the opportunity, yes, <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. I would. I would argue, but uh, yeah, they didn't. Not yeah, those like fundamental. Are they? Is it the fundamentalist Christians or something like that? It's it's the it's the young Earth people. Um, they do in fact believe that we coexisted alongside the dinosaurs. They they bring up these tentative mentions of dinosaurs in the bible um which are really reaching uh, when yes, they, they mention a leviathan in the in the deep which is clearly the kashikashikasaur or whatever the plesiosaur <laughs> yeah um it's, it's a bunch of nonsense um and, and then like i've heard them explain fossilization and, and flash fossilization and all this nonsense because of course like the reason we have fossil fuels like in fast forward is because for eons after um after like trees and ferns had evolved, there were no cellulose devouring bacteria that existed. There was mm -hmm. nothing to break down the dead trees. They would just fall and lay there because there was nothing. They, 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 they couldn't be broken down by the, like the fungi and bacteria and stuff that eats cellulose now. And is the reason why we're not see, I always thought as a kid that like, I bet there's new oil that's always being churned out a little at a time. No, all the oil there's going to be is made. 
because mm-hmm. now when when trees fall, it gets devoured by all those processes. That's interesting. Like, like those giant, that. like those giant coal um, formations and stuff. That's where eons of forest piled on top of each other, on top of each other, and you know mudslides would slide over that, and then heat and and uh, and pressure would form coal over millennia. Why does that no, still happen? Because, of, like I said, now there are cellulose devouring bacteria and and other microorganisms that make you know when a tree falls in the forest, it goes away rather quickly. What if it there's rots. a mudslide? I mean. I don't have a, a great answer for you, but I just know yeah. it doesn't happen. I, okay. I, I think I think that even in a in the case of a mudslide, maybe like it's just rotting under the ground. That I mean, the obviously the dinosaurs living with humans isn't real, but it is objectively a much cooler version of reality. Oh, it's so it's such a like cooler if version there of was like if King Solomon or whatever was riding a brontosaurus through, through oh for sure Mesopotamia, that would have been pretty cool. No, and, and I really enjoy uh, fiction that focuses on civilizations that were mu- that, that that were advanced, like before the Egyptians and stuff like that. Like, like mm-hmm. there's this movie called it's a terrible movie, but it's called Ten Thousand BC. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the Jack have Black. you seen it? Yeah, it's, it's awful. Bad. Oh, not Jack, not the Jack Black movie. You're, I don't because um, that's this the one, one with Jack Black and Michael Sarah. No, this one takes itself seriously, oh. <laughs> hmm. but it's almost equally as bad, and it focuses on some sort of a like pre-egyptian civilization that's like quite at its height like even like like there's, mm-hmm. there's hunters and gatherers but then there's like this fucking civilization over here that are that, that that have like monolithic structures and stuff like that and i don't remember the details but like there were saber-toothed tigers and mammoths and oh then you're there was right a civilization. That, that was called Ten Thousand bc i was thinking of year one yeah i never actually saw that but i'm also aware of a its bad existence. movie Bad movie. Yeah, I saw 10,000 BC in theaters. And even as a kid, I was like, not very good movie. <laughs> not very good. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not entertained as a 12 year old or whatever I was. But, uh, but yeah, that fascinates me. That's why that whole younger Dryas thing um, with, um, um, I can't think of the writer off the top of my head. You know, he talks about the, um, the, the comet strike that melted uh, the ice and caused the great flood that supposedly wiped out that civilization that uh, Gobleki Tepe in Turkey. Mm-hmm. Um, Grant Hopkins or something like that. I can't remember his name. That's not it. But uh, that stuff is fascinating to me. I don't know. I, I feel like that makes like a really interesting fiction. And anything where they go to the center of the earth and there's stuff down there. I like that shit too. That is cool. I like that. Then there'll be more center of the earth movies. Yeah. I like the idea of alien introduction into like our ancestry to like like rise us above like the the, the primitives and make us what we were. Like the idea that like they like Mm-hmm. The ancient aliens, basically nonsense that that, that that became a meme because of that goofball on the History Channel where like maybe aliens came down and they taught the Egyptians the ways of arithmetic and geometry. 